Uh, we also have with us Brady Berman. He's the CEO of Punch Out to Go. So you moved from Cape Charles up to Charlottesville. Uh, I have to ask uh, the basic question of, did the SBA help with the move? No, 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 no. We they they came on board when we uh, when we moved to Charlottesville. We uh, we were um, we were. Were you working out of your grandmother's basement? It's a pretty close story to that. So uh, I guess if if you don't mind, I'll, I'll take us back a little journey here. So twenty years ago, I started a web development and marketing company, uh, headquartered in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, decided to to move to Cape Charles, Virginia. Beautiful place to live. Eastern Shore. Hello to all of uh, our Eastern Shore friends. Uh, but really, you know, we came up with this kind of far fetched idea um, about a decade ago that we needed to kind of improve how commerce transacts right so uh being in cape charles virginia i think population 400 or so a little tough to uh to attract talent in in cape charles they'd have to come across chesapeake bay bridge tunnel and you know pay the vig every every day uh so we decided to move up to charlottesville virginia Uh, in my web development days i had a customer here actually in charlottesville a company called commonwealth assisted living nothing to do with what we're doing today uh but the ceo is a good friend a good mentor of mine and he said hey how about charlottesville uh, about a month later, uh, jumped and, and moved. But yeah, it was started a room over the garage, not quite the basement, but very similar. And uh, here today in Charlottesville, I'm very excited to be here. You just had windows. Yes, is the difference. I had a window, and it was hot up there. The air conditioning didn't really work real well. You know, long, sweatful uh, days there, eighteen, twenty-hour days, trying to to get things going and, and you know make a make a difference in the world. That's Brady Berman. He's the CEO of Punch Out to Go, uh, which I'm still curious to what Punch Out to Go yeah. is yep. as a business. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. I guess that's the easy way to stay CEO is yeah. if you don't tell anyone. That's right. No. And just say, here, I'm writing and signing yep. your check, so don't worry about it. Yep. So I'll give you a little story. So, uh, the first company that actually uh, came to us that needed this type of transactional type of uh, the, this ability to, to do this type of punch out stuff was a small mom and pop hardware company in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, the company was called Harper Hardware. Mm-hmm. Their largest customer was the Commonwealth of Virginia. The Commonwealth of Virginia leverages a, a procurement system called Ariba. Now, anybody who may do any type of business with this uh, Commonwealth of Virginia knows it as EVA, EVA, Electronic Virginia. Uh, so. We did this type of project for Harper Hardware, and it was brutal. It took us six months, nine months to try to, to, to facilitate what the Commonwealth of Virginia wanted. And the Commonwealth of Virginia wanted an easy way for end users from within the Commonwealth of Virginia to purchase from Harper Hardware, right? Uh, and in doing so, that means that we have to have this really kind of complex, tight integration between how those that are creating purchase orders need to transact with Harper Hardware. So being in our web development days, we obviously we were building the e-commerce application for Harper Hardware, uh, and they had this particular need. Uh, so, again, we, we did this type of integration. Uh, they did very well through that relationship, uh, and, we, and we continued to do these types of integrations kind of bespoke for different types of companies. And it was six months, nine months. It was this huge, monumental task. Uh, today, companies are still faced with this six months, nine months ability. We're doing these things now in hours, which is pretty amazing so in essence you know what we do really is is that we are strictly fo- focused on b2b uh we're 100 percent focused on helping companies leverage their own infrastructure and we have two sides of our business we have the buy side part of our business which would be like the commonwealth of virginia we have our sell side business which is the likes of like harper hardware helping those two organizations be able to transact so punch out is just kind of one of the mo- one of the, the the pieces of the puzzle, but it, it provides this kind of Amazon style experience, uh, kind of a consumer like experience for end users from within corporations or the government or different entities that leverage these procurement systems to be able to easily transact and do business with their vendors across you know the landscape of whatever they're needing to purchase. Uh, so in short, and and trying to. You know, eliminate as much complexity as possible. It's it's really this kind of B two B digitization of transactional components between commerce and procurement. When you talk about B two B, you mean business to business. Business to business. That's exactly right. One so, business to another business. Yes. As opposed to <clears throat> a, a customer 
to a business buying directly. Yep. If I wanted to go, I can't purchase directly from Amazon just because they're the largest. So that's why I use well, that. Let's talk about that a little bit. So like that's your B2C type of mindset, so business to consumer, right? So just like in your day-to-days on how you want to purchase products, you, it's really easy. If you want to buy a whatever, it's easy for you to just Google, figure out what you want to buy, and, and purchase that item. Now, when you start thinking about procurement and organizations that are leveraging procurement, there's a lot of controls, right? You have to purchase from approved vendors, right? You have to make sure that these vendors are part of the supply chain you know, element. You, know, you, you have to make sure that the prices are negotiated, that the offering is correct, and that, most importantly, the end users from within an organization can't easily transact with those types of vendors that they have to do business with. Does that make sense? It does. 